वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम एंड कोड्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड कंप्लीमेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट नंबर सिस्टम्स सो लेट स्टार्ट द क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट विद वंस कंप्लीमेंट एंड दिस इज द नंबर दैट इज गिवन इन बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम एंड वी विल फाइंड इट्स वंस कंप्लीमेंट नाउ वंस कंप्लीमेंट एंड टूज कंप्लीमेंट आर यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट अ नंबर गिवन इन बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम we know that in binary number system the possible values are 0 and 1 and 1 is the highest value so to find one's complement of a number in a binary number system what we do is we subtract that given number from a number having same number of bits and all the bit values are 1 so here in this number since we have 5 bits so we will take a number which again has 5 bits and every bit has value which is 1 in this case so we will subtract the given number which is 10011 from the first number now we already have learned the rules of binary subtraction so we will start from lsb now when 1 will be subtracted from 1 it will be 0 similarly here also it will be 0 1 0 will be subtracted from 1 it will be 1 similarly here also it will be 1 and here we will have 0 now this was the given binary number and this number is its ones complement now if we look closely then what we can see here the relationship that the in the given number 1 has been replaced by 0 and 0 has been replaced by 1 so even without doing this subtraction for the given number if really we want to find one's complement then what we can do we will just reverse the bit in binary number system since it is it is the possible combinations are only 0 and 1 so here instead of 1 it will be 0 here it will be 1 here it will be 1 here it will be 0 and again 0 so this is the one's complement of that given binary number next we will find the two's complement of a given binary number and for that we have chosen the same number now the rule of finding two's complement is first we will find the one's complement and then with that value we will add one so now if we want to find the one's complement then it will be 0 here it will be 1 then here it will be 1 then here 0 and 0 so this is one's complement and now with that what i said is we will add one with that one's complement and that will give us two's complement of that given number so it will be one so this is the two's complement of that given number next we will find seven's complement of a given number now seven's complement and eight's complement these two complements are related to a number which is given in octal number system now this is the number which is given now we know in octal number system we have eight digits and that starts from 0 and the last digit value is 7 so this is the maximum possible value in octal number system now if we evaluate this given number we can see here that this number has five digits and all the digits are within that range only from 0 to 7 now the rule of finding seven's complement is again we will take a number having same number of digits and all the digits will have the maximum value of that number system so here it is octal so it will be all the digits will be 7 so here we will have a number where it will have five digits and all the digits will have value 7 and from that number we we will subtract the given number so this is the seven's complement of that given number next we will find eight's complement of a number which is given in octal number system so again we have chosen the same number and what we will do first we will find the seven's complement of that given number and then we will add one to that it will be 6 here then 0 then 5 then 7 then 2 and to get the eighth's complement we will add one to that so finally it will be 7 0 5 7 2 so this will be our eighth complement 
next we will find nines complement of a given number now nines complement and tens complement these two complements are related to decimal number system and we know in decimal number system there are 10 possible digits and that starts from 0 and ends at 9 so the given number should be within the digits of that given number should be within that range only so this is our given number for which we want to find nines complement and if we evaluate this all the digits are within that range only and here also we will be applying the same rule so in the decimal number system the highest possible value is 9 so first what we will do we will take a number having same number of digits means 5 digits and all the digits will have value 9 and from that number we will subtract the num the given number so this is our nines complement of that given number next we will find tens complement of a given number which is given in decimal number system so we have chosen again the same number so first what we will do is first we will find nines complement of that given number and now with that we will add one to get tens complement so this will be our tens complement value of the given number next we will find 15s complement of a given number and definitely 15s and 16s these two complements are related to hexadecimal number system and we know in case of hexadecimal number system there are total 16 digits from 0 to 15 so definitely all the digits that will be given in the given numbers they will be within this range only now here the number what we can see is 630ad this is the relationship between hexadecimal and binary number system where we can see here in case of hexadecimal number system it starts from 0 and it ends at f and we know that rule here a is mapped with 10 then accordingly the final number or final digits which is f that is mapped with 15 that means here a will be our 10 and d will be 13 so these two values now if we want to find 15th complement of the given number then how we will do we will take the maximum value of that given number system and that is f in case of hexadecimal number system so we will write here 5 a bits and from that number we will subtract the given number f is basically it has value 15 and d has value 13 so from 15 when we will subtract 13 the result of subtraction will be 2 now again f is 15 and a is 10 so result of subtraction here it will be 5 15 minus 0 it will be 15 only and that will be written as f then 15 minus 3 it will be 12 and 12 means in hexadecimal number system that is actually represented by c and f minus 6 means 15 minus 6 so it will be 9 so this is our 15 complement of the given number next we will find 16th complement of a given number and we have again chosen the same number and this is the relationship that we have already seen and here this is the mapping with the decimal values now as we know as we can now guess what we will do first we will find the 15th complement of this given number that we have already found and with that we will add 1 to obtain 16th complement so it will be 2 plus 1 3 and all other digits will remain same so in this class we have only learned how to find different complement values of different number systems in the next class we will learn something new with this I end today's class. Thank you.